Hi, I'm Thomas. Welcome back. Our topic is vectors. In this lesson, we'll learn how to use vectors to find the vector equation and parametric equations of a line. Our problem reads, a line passes through the point with position vector 3i minus 5j plus 4k and is parallel to the vector 7i minus 3k. Find the vector equation of the line and the parametric equations of the line. At the top of the screen, we have the general form of our vector equation, as well as our parametric equations. We'll see how to use those general forms in the analysis of our problem. Let's go to our algorithm. Step one, identify general point. We're given the point with position vector 3i minus 5j plus 4k. That's unit vector form we want the x, y, and z components of the unit vector form. So I'll write in component form in a column matrix, the x, y, z components of 3, negative 5, and 4. This is the general point that we'll work with in our vector equation. Step 2, identify or, if needed, calculate direction. In this case, we'll be able to identify the direction. If you're given two points, then you select one point as the starting point, which you would identify as your general point in step one. Then to calculate the direction, your math is second point minus general point, and that will produce the direction vector that you need. In our case, we're told that our line is parallel to the vector 7i minus 3k, so our direction taking the x, y, and z components of the parallel vector, 7, 0, and negative 3, the 0 resulting from no j component of that vector. Let's reference the vectors from 1 and 2 so they tie into our vector equation. What we have in step 1 is vector a. What we have in step 2 is vector b. And now for step 3, Calculate line equation. The vector equation general form R equals A, in our case, is 3, negative 5, 4, plus T, which is a scalar, times vector B, for us, 7, 0, negative 3. This is the line equation with the vectors in component form. We can also write this line equation in unit vector form as 3 plus 7t i minus 5j plus 4 minus 3t k. Here we've grouped our x, y, and z components as coefficients of the unit vectors i, j, and k. That completes requirement A. Let's now look at requirement B, the parametric equations of the line. Looking at the general form for parametric equations, we have an equation for x, y, and z. In this example, we've already completed steps 1 and 2. We've identified the general point, we've identified direction, and now for step 3, calculate equations, in this case the parametric equations. x equals Looking at the general form, that is a1 plus t times b1. The a1 is the x component of the general point, which is 3. b1 is the x component of the direction vector, which is 7. We're going to group these as 3 plus 7t. Notice in step 3 of part a, in our unit vector form of the equation, that is the coefficient of i, 3 plus 7t. So if we have, as we do here, the unit vector form of the line equation, we can identify x as the coefficient of i from that equation. Now we'll identify y as the coefficient of j from that equation, negative 5. And finally, z as the coefficient of k, 4 minus 3t. That completes the parametric equations of the line. We've completed our requirements, and this concludes the lesson on finding line equations using vectors.